According to the World Health Organization data published in 2020, kidney disease deaths in Grenada reached 40 or 4.6% of total deaths and is among the top 10 causes of deaths in the island, a situation that is very concerning to local health officials. We get more in this report from the Ministry of Health. As Grenada and the rest of the world commemorated World Kidney Day last Thursday, nephrology administrator at the General Hospital, Dr. Jermaine Bristol Stanislaus, is concerned about the prevalence of kidney disease in Grenada, specifically among the working population. Kidney disease means your kidneys are damaged and cannot filter blood the way they should. It can affect your body's ability to clean your blood, filter extra water out of your blood, and help control your blood pressure. You are at risk of developing chronic kidney disease if you have chronic diseases like diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular disease, or other problems with the heart. There are other conditions that can also lead to kidney damage. There are many risk factors to getting kidney disease. One risk factor is just being black. So we as Grenadians, we need to be mindful of that. As you increase in age, you also increase the risk of developing kidney disease. Um, if you have a family member that has kidney disease, you are at an increased risk because there are inherited kidney diseases. And diabetes and high blood pressure are the two leading causes of kidney failure. So once you have these two diseases, you need to make sure that they're under control because that increases your risk of having kidney failure. Dr. Bristol Stanislaus says looking at the growing numbers of people being diagnosed with kidney disease should be a wake-up call for all. Based on our statistics, the majority of our patients fall within the working age group, right? And we do have some very young patients as well, as young as early 20s who are currently on dialysis. So it's, it's actually quite alarming. And it is important that we do our routine checks at least annually and for persons who are at increased risk. So those who would have had the risk factors that I would have listed, they should try to get their kidney functions tested at least twice a year. Currently, there are eight patients on hemodialysis at the General Hospital and 10 at a private facility, as well as six patients on peritoneal dialysis at the hospital and four post-transplant patients. Outside of the persons who are currently on dialysis, we also have persons who have reached kidney failure who are currently not doing dialysis. So in terms of the number of persons having kidney disease, it is about 10% of our population based on world statistics. Mm -hmm. And in terms of persons having kidney failure, it is also a good percentage of our population. So it's very important that we pay attention to our kidneys. We have outpatient clinics in the general hospital, we have two main outpatient clinics every week on Tuesday afternoons and Wednesday afternoons. And we also have separate outpatient clinics once a month for the patients on peritoneal dialysis and the patients who are post-transplant. We also conduct two clinics per month at the Princess Alice Hospital and one per quarter in Kariku at the Hillsborough Health Center. An early diagnosis of kidney disease can be done through urine and blood tests. Dr. Bristol Stanislaus notes that it is important to get annual general medical checkups to monitor the function of the body's organs, even if you are feeling well. Reporting for the Ministry of Health, I am Blossom Alexis Welsh. Thank you, Blossom.